वेलकम वी हैव टू फाइंड द इंटीग्रल ऑफ दिस वन सी कैपुली दिस इज अ बॉक्स फंक्शन और वी आर से ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीरियर फंक्शन यू आर नोइंग ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीरियर फंक्शन इज डिफरेंट चेंजिंग वैल्यूज व्हेन इट इज इंटीरियर सपोज हियर I am showing you how to solve this type of sums. You can write three ten square x, ten x, and x. When x is zero, then three ten square x is also zero. Ten x is also zero. When x is pi by four, then three ten Ten x is one, so three times square x is three. So since this greatest integer function, we require two values in between zero, one, two, three. When it will be three times square x will be one. That means ten x equals to one by root three. That is. X equals to pi by six. Again, three times square x equals to two. That means ten x equals to root of two by three. So if this x will be ten inverse root of two by three. These are the places we have to first search. So this one we can write equals to zero to pi by six. Zero to pi by six. Three ten square x dx plus pi by six to Ten inverse root of two by three. Again, it is three ten square x dx plus ten inverse root two by three to. Pi by four, three ten square x dx. This part we have to see very carefully that how we are breaking the intervals. In this interval, I have shown you how to do it. So zero to pi by six, as we have shown, see me. Zero to pi by six. That is at pi by six, it is one. And between zero and one, this is zero. Plus pi by six to ten inverse root two by three. Here three ten inverse x. Is equal to between one and two. It is always one, so it is one dx plus this one is from ten in bar root two by three to pi by four. That is between two and three. It is always two. So this is the we are breaking the intervals in this way. Right? Zero to one, one to two, two to three. So now zero to pi by six, it is zero. No need of doing. It is one. So integral will be x. X means ten inverse. Root of two by three minus five by six. 
and here plus 2 into pi by 4 minus 10 inverse of root of 2 by 3. See this one. This is equals to 10 inverse root of 2 by 3 minus pi by 6 plus 2 pi by 4 that is pi by 2 minus 2 10 inverse root of 2 by 3 this is equals to now see pi by 2 minus pi by 6 that is pi by 3 if you are subtracting this two, it is coming pi by 3. And this one minus this one is coming minus 10 inverse root of 2 by 3. This is your solution. Solution is not very difficult. What you have to remember? How to break the intervals? Where you will break? Remember that greatest integer function changes its values only when it is in the end. Thank you.